Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are discussing the election year with Jerry Springer. He is the host of The Jerry Springer Show, former mayor of Cincinnati, and he now hosts The Jerry Springer Podcast, which focuses on, on politics, politics, unlike yes. your day job. Yeah, the, the day job is a circus, and the show is silly, stupid, ridiculous. It's fun to do. People obviously like it, which is why we're not 26th year now. But that's, that's separate. That's, that's a show. That's show business. But I never thought that someone on my show should be president of the United States. And that's my, even though I think maybe Trump could be on my show, I don't think he ought to be president of the United States. And that's nothing personal against him. Have you ever met him? Yes. I, in fact, I worked for him at one point, And he was n nothing but nice. I worked for him when I was the host of the Miss Universe pageant back in 2008. And he's only been nice to me. So there's no personal grudge, nothing. But... You know, there are people in my family who I love, but I don't think they should be president of the United States. You can't, as your very first job ever in the political arena, you've never run a city council, you've never run a village, a township, you've never done any of that, and all of a sudden you're going to say, oh, gee, I'd like to be in politics. Hey, can I be president? I mean, it's a disrespect for the country. God forbid you had to take your kid into surgery, and you go into the operating room, and here comes the doctor, don't you want to know that the doctor at least went to medical school? Well, why do we even consider that as a candidate for president you know, when he has no knowledge it, of that? You know, it occurs to me, you went from politics to reality TV in many ways. Right. And he's going I went, to... Actually, I went to news first. I did your job first. I went from politics to news for 10 years. I anchored the news. Right. And that's how I got the talk show. Okay. Yeah, so and, I did that transition. And he's going from reality TV to, to politics. Yes, but the first job ever should be president of the United States. What if someone walked into your TV studio here and said, um, hi, I was just uh, hanging out on the street corner there. I was wondering, can I be CEO of Channel 7? You'd go, what? And yet, when it comes to our country, we don't have any standard. We simply say, Okay, you want to be, you had a great TV show, we love you, you be president. But it's you, like we don't care about our country. At least on the Sun Coast, uh, this is a very white Republican area. And a lot of folks, when I talk to them about politics, they're looking for somebody out there who is going to keep taxes low, get government off their back, uh, and that it's a, for many folks who are watching this right now, it's a no brainer. They don't trust Hillary. And they see in, in Donald Trump a, a, a man who has uh, made billions, and uh, if he could do that, maybe he's best for this country. I can understand they're lifelong Republicans. I get that. I understand some people are conservative. I respect that. It's not a point of view I agree with, but I understand it's a legitimate point of view. That's a great debate. But I would dare to say if anyone watching was sitting alone in a room with God and God said, Here's Hillary and her whole life, and here's Trump and his whole life. Who do you think is better qualified, better able to step in and be president of the United States? I can't imagine there are 10 people that would honestly say, not to win an argument, not because of uh, political loyalty, but just honestly believe that Donald Trump knows more about the world, more about these complex issues, particularly in foreign policy. He's never done any of this. It's not a serious discussion. I understand that people that don't like Hillary. I understand that people don't like Democrats. I understand that people don't like liberals. But that isn't the question this time. It's the reason Republican leadership has backed away from him. You go out there and you ask many folks who are watching this right now why yeah. they dislike Hillary. They, they say that she is not honest. Because they've probably been watching Fox News and they keep hearing every single day, this woman, her entire adult life, has been devoted, her entire adult life has been devoted to some kind of public service, whether it was uh, um, health, health for, uh, healthcare for children, early childhood education, education, health care, United States Senator, Secretary of State, her whole life has been public service. She gets criticized now for being part of the Clinton Global Initiative. Every, you spend your life providing uh, uh, help to, uh, for people who have AIDS in Africa, clean water. Ed, look at what that institution does. 87% of the amount of money contributed to the Glo Clinton Global Initiative goes to the people that need the care. They get an A from every watch group 
of charities. You devote your life to this, and she gets criticized because she wasn't tough on Bill. She gets criticized, as I said, because of her voice, because she used the wrong server. Really? You think 50 years from now, America, people are going to, historians will say, she should have used that other server. All right, so, so put on your former mayor's hat, yeah. and you also ran for governor of Ohio at one point. Look at this yeah. election. Uh, we are, uh, the, boy, the polls in Florida are up and down, Trump, Clinton, so forth. In your home state of Ohio, uh, it looks like Donald Trump is is up a couple of points now. He That's a crucial uh, uh, state. He Although your hometown, Cincinnati Inquirer, just today endorsed uh, Hillary Clinton, which it has not done ever. This is amazing. It wouldn't mean anything to people here, but Cincinnati is you know Taft country historically. It's the it's the most Repub that in San Diego have historically been the most Republican city in America, big cities in America. And very Republican. That whole southern Ohio is Republican territory. And for it to endorse Hillary Clinton is just an example of what I've been saying. Responsible Republican conservative leadership. Don't listen to me. I'm a liberal Democrat. You'd expect me to say what I'm saying. But look at what the Republican leadership say, what the Bushes, what Romney, what McCain, all these stalwart Republican leaders. Look at the 50 um, um, people that work for Republican administrations and national security. They sign this letter. They're all saying he is not fit. Look what Colin Powell said. He's not fit to be president of the United States. If you want to be a Republican conservative, God bless you. You vote Republican in the other races or next election vote Republican. But you can't believe that Donald Trump should be president of the United but States. When, it's not reasonable. When Donald Trump was here in Sarasota, yeah. uh, the uh, Robarts Arena could not even contain the, the crowd. Uh, the, the people are coming out from all over, everywhere. I know that. This is who, what, what you know. You're in Sarasota. People... I love this town, but the politics, I'm not crazy about. But, you know, they never so, vote for me either. So I'm, I understand it. I'm in the, the heart of conservative Republican Beliefs. So what's your impression of, of our community? Because it is one of the most affluent communities in the country, yet right. one in Which five children yeah. in Sarasota live in poverty. Yeah. I mean, uh, how, how do you change this dynamic given um, the reluctance of, of many folks around here for paying a little bit more in taxes? Or, I mean, you know, if, if Hillary gets elected, she says she's going to raise your tax. And she should. It's obscene to be giving me more tax breaks. I mean, it really is. How do, under what moral standard should I be getting more tax breaks? Really? How difficult do you, you think my life is? You work hard for your is? money. A lot of people work hard. The guy who's picking up garbage on the street, he's working hard. What do I do? I say, you did what? Come on out. We'll be right back. You know, I'm in show business. That's not work. You want to know what work is? The people that struggle every day and worry that they're going to be paid enough just to pay their medical bills or to or to buy food or to pay each month they got to make a choice is it going to be rent this month or is it going to be clothing this month for my kid there are tough lives out there and most of us who are wealthy I'm not saying we don't work hard but please 99 percent of what every single one of us is is a gift from God you could take Bill Gates arguably the most successful person ever in America if he were born in Ethiopia he would have been dead by the age of five we have nothing to do with the decision to be born, to whom we're being born, with what kind of health we'd be born, what country we live in, what era. I mean, this is a gift from God. We're lucky. So we don't, the way you say thank you for the luck we have is to give something back. That's how you say thank you. And to complain, for millionaires to complain, oh, my taxes, oh, my gosh. It's embarrassing. How do we complain about that? If someone's on $30,000 a year, I understand why they're complaining about taxes, but not people like me. All right, why don't we take another break and we'll come back with final thoughts. Uh, in our, but first, we'll take a look at our weather.